Well, I'm back at camp, and I wanted to do a quick video. I don't have much time. I'm doing this on my phone, trying my phone for the first time. And because my GoPro isn't working, so I'm going to get the GoPro working. I'm going to be down here for five days. I kind of wanted to show you to start. Um, I tried to do, I came down for about a day and a half, and I tried to make some hammock stands, or a hammock stand. Put the post in the ground. I didn't bring any, con I didn't have any concrete, so I kind of tried to put another post in there to try to shore it up some more. And I did some, same thing with some firewood and stuff over there, just some little blocks of wood. And it didn't, it didn't work out too well. So, I now have my uh, I went and got a bag of concrete so I'll be putting those in some concrete this weekend for sure since I got that stuff and then I've started on the boat bar or the uh, bench the wood bench I'm kind of trying my novice hand at carving and stuff like that um, I also have a Dremel I did this with a screwdriver and a hammer um, <laughs> So, but now I came back and I got the palm sander and so I'll be working on this for a little while I want to I got some polyurethane too. I want to sand it make it look real good and then I'll uh, poly it and Hopefully it'll look a lot different next time you see it, but like I said my GoPro isn't working So I'm having to do everything off my phone I'm gonna get that working and we'll have some more projects coming up this weekend But until then y'all have a good one as I know I told you I was going to bring you along, so one thing I wanted to show, I got a lot of ends and just stuff that I want to bring down with the Dremel first, because the palm sander is doing a good job, but when it comes to like a dip or something that I've tried to chisel out, it's not doing the, um, the greatest. It's making this side look good. This, I almost came in with a chainsaw and decided to cut the top off of it, but I stopped. Um, but I like how it's making the side kind of look. So yeah, I'm going to go through with the Dremel, take out high spots, make it easier transition for the palm sander. A couple hours later of sanding it, I think it looks a lot better. I still need to carve in camp. I kind of did the C. Kind of did the C. Got an A, M, and then P. I guess it shows up better on camera than it actually does with my own eyes. Um, but right now, I'm going to go ahead and put some polyurethane on the left side. Just to kind of see what it'll look like. You see, I still got some ridges in there, but when you, when you look at it pretty flat, you can't really tell. It's just the fact that that's old. That's been exposed to the sun, and that's old, and it's molded a little bit, and I just can't get down in there to, to clean it off. But it's relatively flat. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and polyurethane it. Half of it anyway. See what that looks like. Make it does it make it pop type thing. Hey guys, this is not at all what I thought I was getting. Look at this. It's like I'm painting glue on. It's like Elmer's glue. And I'm just trying to spread it out. But it's kinda 
Odd. I don't know if I would get it again. Let's see why people everywhere are upgrading their water filter to zero water. Start with water that has a lot. But we'll see. It might might surprise me. Heck, we'll see. But I'm gonna spread it in some more. All right. Well, I just got it buried in the ground. I put some concrete on it. Check her and make sure she's level. Off a little bit. A little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, dirty uh, bucket water in there. I got the concrete poured in the hole. I'll let it get a little more firmer. And then I'll come back and level her out while she's still a little bit movable. But I'm about to go over there and do that one. That'll be another one done. Update on the poly on the bench. I like the look of it. Maybe I should stain it. I don't know. This is poly. I just kind of... I want to make it look nice. But I got to protect it from the sun. Because every day it just get, it'll get worse and worse. So I got to do something with it now. I can refinish it later. Maybe, heck, maybe one day I'll get a planer. I can plane it down and do some cool stuff into it. All right, well, I'm gonna get over to this. Have a good one. Well, I wanted to show everybody kind of the process I was using. I don't know if this will focus in, but it's very, very, um, I don't even know the word you'd call it, but <laughs> caveman-ish. I just have this little thing. I kind of sharpen the end with a little file, and it's an old putty knife. And I'll just go in and I'll come in at an angle, then I'll go to the other side. And I'll come in at an angle. And while well, using that mallet, of course. Then I'll come in at another angle. And do the same thing. It's kind of just how I've been going around. That's how I did those over there. And I know if I had real chisels, it'd look, probably look pretty good. But I'm doing this rough. I'm going back with that uh, Dremel and sanding it in. So, the polyurethane doesn't look too bad. I, before, I actually stained all of them. And then I went back and sanded T and H for some reason. Um, so, that's kind of why they look a little, a little different. So, obviously, I need more work done on that side. But I also got a sand and polyurethane this side too so more work to be done but <laughs> it's it's about hanging out and doing whatever i want to out here so that's why i like it all right well we'll see y'all in a bit y'all have a good one hey guys as you can see my still using my camera gopro is still a piece of crap but I went ahead and carved out camp. I got the polyurethane out. I'm just going to finish it up just because I'm ready to move on to something else, to be honest. But I might come back and do something else on it. But for right now, this is how it's going to look. All right. Well, well, after I polyurethane it, I'll bring you back.